Howdy, y'all. This is Edward from Valarm. Welcome back to the Valarm YouTube channel for another exciting episode of Industrial IoT Sensor Monitoring Systems. Today's episode, we've got an exciting one lined up for you. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't already and ring ding ding tap that little bell so you get all the notifications when we launch awesome new videos like this one starting off here on the www.valarm.net slash customer stories page we're gonna focus today on the water well management and industrial IOT sensors monitoring groundwater levels pumps and flow meters Let's get into it. And here you'll see in these photos that we've got production water well monitoring systems integrating industrial IoT sensors with tools.valarm.net, aka Valarm Tools Cloud. Now you probably know that water is a precious resource for you, your family, and all of us living here on this earth. How do you effectively monitor water wells to make sure you're efficiently and safely using water pumps, pipes, level sensors, and flow meters? Well, you're in luck. That's exactly just what we'll be talking about in this here story, uh, water management systems. In these photos, you're seeing remote water monitoring systems deployed at water wells in the western United States in the state of California. These water well monitoring systems automatically upload water sensor information to tools.valarm.net as often as you need it. On tools.valarm.net you, your teams, and your organization can map, graph, analyze, download, API forward, alert, and do anything else you need to do with your water monitoring systems. Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at info at valarm.net if you'd like any help. You're seeing screenshots now of custom web dashboards we made working together hand in hand with our customers. Now what are your water monitoring systems made of? Each of these water wells have the following two key sensors that are monitored in real time with tools.valarm.net and industrial IoT web dashboards. First up, you've got flow meters. Flow meters are made by companies like Micrometer or C-Metrics and output a pulse every X number of gallons. For example, puts out a pulse every 10 gallons of water that flows through your pipe. And these flow meters, the pulses are measured by PWM sensor adapters or pulse width modulation sensor adapters. Available on shop.valarm.net, by the way. The second up, the other key sensor that you see in all these water wells are water level sensors. Got to know how much water is in your well. Pressure transducers made by hardware manufacturers like in situ or Flowline output 4 to 20 milliamp signals which are then translated into depths in feet or meters of water that's in the wells. And note that since tools.valarm.net is an open, flexible platform, your organization can also use ultrasonic, sonar, and other sensors made for wells that measure water levels, like sensors made by Scenix, EnoScientific, and other sensor manufacturers. Also inside of each of these water monitoring systems, you're seeing these hardware components. Morningstar solar charge controllers, sun saver models that manage system power. 
your charge controllers receive power from your solar panels and charge your backup batteries to keep your systems alive at night or when there's no sun, like big clouds. And at the same time, charge controllers are distributing power to other remote monitoring pieces. Like what we have next up are your sensor hubs, which are the central brain units, uh, CPUs, that receive data from all your different sensor adapters and upload sensor measurements at regular time intervals as often as you need, and that data gets sent up to Valarm Tools Cloud. Specifically in these systems, you're seeing 3G GSM sensor hubs that send water sensor telemetry information via AT&T's mobile cell phone network in the States. Note that you could also use Ting, Verizon, CDMA, T-Mobile, Ethernet, Ingenu, Wi-Fi, or whichever internet connectivity makes the most sense for your monitoring network's deployment locations. 4 to 20 milliamp sensor adapters read sensor measurements from pressure transducers or water level sensors. And note that some water level sensors output RS-232, 0 to 10 volt, or RS-485 Modbus sensor standard protocols. And that works just fine with Valarm tools as well. PWM sensor adapters count pulses output by your flow meters. Each tick, spin, or pulse represents a real world quantity like one gallon per pulse which is what you'll use to make sense of your sensor measurements on Valarm tools as well as your web dashboards. Bolt sensors monitor system health. These record system voltage and how much juice your batteries have. They'll quickly tell you if you need to upgrade to bigger solar panels or batteries or if your systems are experiencing cloudier days than you thought they would. They'll also confirm when your battery is getting old and needs to be replaced, which is every couple years or so. Waterproof cable glands on each box allow wires and cables to come into the box from things like sensors and solar panels. Then the cable glands tighten down on the cable to protect the inside of your monitoring boxes from the elements like rain or snow. This weatherproofing keeps your precious monitoring systems running solid. The antenna bulkheads allow your systems to attach external antennas. The white antenna looking pieces you're seeing in these photos. If you happen to be in an area where GSM cell network coverage is sparse, you'll want to consider adding these. If your network coverage is solid, then you won't need these. In the bottom right of the boxes are the sealed lead acid or SLA batteries that connect to your solar charge controllers. These have a typical lifespan of a couple years. Voltage regulators inside your boxes receive 12 volt power output by your solar charge controllers and then convert it to 5 volts to power your sensor hubs, which then power your water sensors. Note there's also room for expansion in your boxes where you can add more sensors and cable glands. Need to add temperature, weather, noise, methane, gas, or other air quality sensors? You're already ready to go. On your water well web dashboards, say that one 10 times fast, you'll see critical information about each of your water wells. You can click the name, map icon, location of any of your water wells on your map to see more information like 
the safety and health of your headroom for your pumps. Is it okay? Is your water level at a safe level above your water pump? You'll also see depth to sensor, amount of water above your sensor, pump rate, for example, in liters or gallons per minute, telling you how much fluid is flowing. You'll also see your latest measurements of pump headroom, as well as a totalizer tells you how many total gallons has your well pumped. Historical graphing shows you relationship of things like depth to water versus pump rate. So how's your groundwater? What's your aquifer recharge rate? Are your water levels recovering healthily? All of this is easily shown in your historical graphing on your Velarm dashboard. That's your quick and easy general overview of monitoring water wells with tools.valarm.net. You likely already see how these systems help our customers to save money and save time. Remote monitoring systems reduce the business costs of labor and man hours that can be spent on something better than driving hours back and forth over and over again to water wells to take sensor readings that can be done automatically. Here's a few of our lessons learned from this project specifically monitoring water wells in California. These external antennas and antenna bulkhead connectors are definitely a real bonus that makes connectivity easier for you when monitoring systems are installed in remote areas. Personally, we've had good experiences in the field with Laird Tech brand external antennas. High quality solar charge controllers are much more reliable. We've experimented with various brands and manufacturers and can solidly recommend Morningstar for your monitoring systems. No More Rat's Nests, our new shorter micro USB to micro USB cables inside the boxes make the guts inside of the remote monitoring boxes look much cleaner and sleeker as you can see in the photos. Lastly, communicating, intently listening to, and working closely with our customers helps us fine tune these water well dashboards so they're simple, yet quickly tell you the exact story that you and your teams need to know with factors like legends, ranges, and colors custom designed to what makes the most sense for you and our customers. Tell us more about what your organization needs to remotely monitor whether you need to monitor water, noise, flood warning systems, structural health of bridges and infrastructure, levees, air quality gases like methane, or anything else, we're here and ready to help you deploy effective monitoring systems. Take a gander at the rest of our customer stories and web dashboards pages on www.valarm.net and you'll learn more about how we'll help you improve your operations. And please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at info at Valarm.net if you've got any questions. And remember to click subscribe if you haven't already to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the little bell. Make sure you get all the updates when we post new videos to YouTube. Thank you for watching.